Hello everybody, thank you today for joining me on another video and today I'm going to be doing a project that I've wanted to do for a pretty long time but it kept getting pushed back because of something or the other and today I finally, I've taken out time and uh, I'm going to get to it. So the project is making my entertainment center look a lot neater. So as you can see right now there's just wires floating down and the, the TV is just... So this was a very crude job, I did it a few months ago and I never really had the time to organize it and make it look neat, do some nice cable management. So what I'm going to be doing in today's video, I'm going to be installing new HDMI cables, a new aux cable for my Bose speaker over here. Uh, I'm going to just be doing a lot of cable management, cleaning up some wires to make it look nice. Uh, you can see down, uh, down in the bottom that there's a lot of wires and everything is just jumbled up. I just have a lot of random stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is making this look really pretty and I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you're going to need are cable raceways. Cable raceways can be found on Amazon. They could be found on Office Ma in Office Max or any kind of office supply store should have them. And what they do is when you can't put wires behind inside the wall or you don't have the capability of hiding it like that, what it'll do is it'll provide you a way of making it look a little bit neater than just random wires hanging down there. So as you can see right now, I have four wires just hanging randomly and I really can't do anything about it. So my goal is A, with the cable, uh, with the new cables and the cable raceway, I should be able to have, have a very neat setup. What I'm going to do further is I'm going to just clean out this entire bottom portion, which is really messy. It has my Xbox and just some random stuff, and it has an HDMI switcher. So this is a really budget TV that I bought. So it only has two HDMI ports, but I have a lot more dev uh, devices that I want to connect to it. So I have an HDMI switcher. And I bought a new HDMI switcher as well, which lets me change the input with a remote. So what I'm going to be showing you is how I install the HDMI switcher, how I install the cable raceway, and just some basic wire management. So let's get right to it. So one of the first things I'm going to start off by doing is just removing all the cables that are connected, make it clean, and try to figure out from there. So I'm just going to get right to it. All right, so I got the inputs from the TV out. Now I'm going to move on to just unplugging everything that I have over here. And there we go. So now here's a laptop that I have connected here. So I'm just going to disconnect this, put this off to the side. Here is an Apple TV, which I will also put to the side. My speakers. Also off to the side. Just some random stuff here and there. All right. So I'm going to move this table forward so I can get behind and deal with some more wires. All right, guys. So I just want to show you guys the situation behind this table that you saw. So as you can see, there is just a whole mess of wires. And uh, there's these home theater cables that I never really got around to using. So I just have them tied up at the corner here. But this, this was all being used. So you can see it's a pretty big mess. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be removing this entire cable jumble. Then I'll move on to labeling the cables and replacing them all. So let's get to that. All right, guys, so here is my Xbox One, which I'm just going to pick up and remove. So I've already unplugged all the cables, as you guys saw. Now what I'm doing is I'm just putting everything to the side. What I'll be sorting through everything, replacing the new wires. I will be adding labels to all of my uh, cables as well, so it's easier to find out and replace cables if they go bad. And I don't have to scramble around in this mess anymore. So there we go. So I have everything cleared out. All right, guys, so here is the cleaned out setup. <laughs> it looks very neat in my opinion, but sadly, it's not going to stay this neat for that long. We're going to add a ton of stuff back. And you can see I have a huge mess and plethora of wires laying everywhere in my room. So let's get right to making this the perfect budget entertainment center. All right, everybody. So first step is going to be just plugging in some HDMI cables. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be plugging these into the back. I have a couple of six foot cables. Plug them into the back connect them down, drop them down, and we'll see what we need to do from there. All 
All right, everybody, so I've plugged in the two HDMIs. Now I'm gonna put in the aux cable, and that's it. That's all the inputs that are gonna be in the cable, uh, in the TV. So what I'll be doing next is, I'll be pushing all the wires to the end, I'll be running that cable raceway so it hides all the cables, and then we'll move down to organizing the wires in the bottom. So let's get going. All right, everybody, so with all the cables into the TV, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run these raceways. So my idea is to have it plugged in like this, and I have a couple of them, so I can just, you know, build and make it a straight line down to my power sources. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push, pull all these wires towards this side, have them drop down all together. So let's get to that. All right, guys. So I just got finished putting these on and it looks a lot more cleaner in my opinion. It matches the gloss black of this uh, TV's border. So it's already starting to look really neat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to wiring everything else up and I will just do a time lapse of this because this part is boring. Alright everybody, so we're finally done. So as you can see, this has come out pretty well. I am very impressed by it. It wasn't too much of a struggle. I thought it would be a really long and hard process, but as I got into it and I was doing it, it actually got over really quickly. So the raceway was very easy to install. Uh, all the wires, they actually came in through perfectly, had no issues with that. Uh, a wire was a little bit short, but luckily I had a backup because I had a doubt that maybe it might be a little bit short. So I was lucky there. I got that done. I immediately replaced it and we're good to go. So I'm gonna have all the links and everything of what I use today, what I use in general to, uh, in the description below so that you guys can see it and use it for yourself if you want to do this kind of setup for your TV. I know a lot of people who have flat screens and they have the same issue as I did. They had just wires hanging below it. This is a very good solution. It works out very well. Uh, I'm glad I did it and it doesn't take any expertise to do this. It was very simple. Anybody can do it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the content, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, a lot more content like that coming up. Follow me on social media because I'm always documenting the stuff I'm doing and the process for this was really interesting and I was documenting it all over Instagram and Twitter. So definitely check out the links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next one.